What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do the full review of the Recon 1 Mini. Had it for quite some time now, so figured it was a good time to knock out a full review of it. Ooh, that spring will get you. So let's get to it. So overall, let's take a look at the actual length here. So see what we're looking at, about 7 inches. And just under three inches, about two and three quarters of actual blade on there. So let's compare it to some other knives that are first similarly sized, such as like the Benchmade Gratillion, which is, I mean, is actually a little bit bigger. I don't have a lot of knives exactly around that size range because it's kind of pushing a little on the small side for me. So let's get the PM2 out. So you can see how she falls in there size-wise compared to, even though the camera is at an angle, but let's line up the pivots here a little bit and you can kind of get a pretty good idea of what you're dealing with as far as you the actual size it's a you know about an inch difference so but you know if you're in a a tough legal area that you have to be under three inches uh, I mean it's on the books it actually a lot of the dealers I did, they did mark that it's it is marked as three inch blade but depending on how they want to measure it will kind of depend. So let's compare it to the big brother. As you can definitely tell, there's a huge difference <laughs> between them. But the standard Recon 1 is, is a big knife. It really, really is a big knife. I mean, there's no, no debating that at all. I mean, you put it even up against a the PM2, I mean, we'll even put the PM2 up front. It's a, it's a big knife. So, but anyhow, we we're not talking about the big boy. We we're talking about the mini. So, it's got a nice tumble blade on it. Obviously, you can tell the big difference from the actual satin blade, which I prefer myself. I mean, this is, it's not bad. But I, I kind of like, I do kind of like the belt lines that you can kind of see in like this satin one. Which, if you don't know, is real. the only way you can actually get this knife is from Canada. And it's a very limited edition knife. So anyhow, overall the, the feel, the G10 is the, the newer G10, which is a lot more mellow. It's not as coarse. It's not as bad as it used to be back in the day it is the newer g10 even but even on the big boy it's actually if you feel it it is this is the newer g10 too i did swap the scales out because this the satin blade is an older knife and it came with a rougher g10 so i actually swapped it out with my newer recon one so i could have the smoother the smoother G10, because when you're going in and out of your pocket, it, that really rough G10 will really raise heck with your pocket. So, and let's take a look at, let's get into the alignment. It's very nice. It's still very much on. I did loosen the pivot on this to make it a little bit easier to try to flick. And there's an ever so slight wobble uh, you know, there's a little movement, not a lot. I mean, not anything that's any concern, especially not for a recon with it being the back lock aspect. But I did loosen it just to make it a little bit easier to flip open, which, you know, doing terrible on camera right now, but still got a very good edge. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have used it a bunch of times at work cutting various things and I also did use it here and opening boxes and stuff like that too so overall the the blade steel seems to be right on mark which is 
Aus 10A. It's nice, but nice budget steel. The knife itself, I mean, it's still $69 or give or take, depending on where you get it from. I think it's still a bit pricey. It might come down after a while. I think it's more of a $50 knife, personally, myself. I think they're asking an awful lot for what they're given. Especially considering, I mean, the Recon 1s, you can pretty much buy a, a, a full black Recon 1 right now for, I think, literally like 100 bucks. So, just because it's new or whatever, I don't know. I, I think it could be a better price at $50, personally. I mean, they're not being made in this country. They still say Taiwan on them. <laughs> so, which I'm sure eventually they'll probably just actually say China on them because there is some controversy going on with that. The fact that China is basically in control of Taiwan these days. But anyhow, we won't get into all that. So, so overall, knife is very nice. It's got a very handy size. If you don't like a big knife, you don't like a big, big recon one, you're looking for something to downsize from. This is a not a bad knife overall. It feels good in the hands. You know, it's got a nice blade length on it. And overall, like I said, I loosen the pivot. So it makes it a little bit more flippable. So I can left middle finger flick it open when I want. And I can, you know, totally one hand it. And that's nice to do. And it, like I said, it's still... May, it's got maybe a just a smidge of wobble, you know, just a sit of maybe side to side, nothing much really. But she is still perfectly in line, you can tell. But there's still very much gaps on both sides, so she's still very much in line, even though I did loosen the pivot. Some knives they don't hold up very good when you start changing and loosening that pivot, sometimes they don't work out so well. Hardware also could be bigger, obviously. You can reverse the clip on either side, just like you can a Recon 1. But you're still basically limited to tip up only. So, overall, I think it's a very nice knife. I'd like to see it come down in price, for sure. That, I think, would make it a better knife overall. I would have preferred a... A little more of a, a satin blade, personally myself, but and a you know it's not a hollow grind either. That's another, I guess, downside if you want. I mean, as you can tell, you can tell the difference from the recon the recon one full size. They definitely seem to have done away on this knife with if it if it's if it's at all has any reek, any reeker, which it is all very, yeah, it's, it's there. It's extremely, extremely subtle. I guess it just doesn't, you just don't notice it maybe as much just because of the, the belt lines and the shine to it. I guess the stone washing's kind of taken away from it, but. The level actually says that there is a little there, so I guess there is. But either way, there you guys go. That's just, you know, there's not much really to say about the knife. Overall, again, it's a Recon 1. Just compact, a little bit more compact size. If you like the price, if it's worth the price, like I said, personally, 50 bucks would be the best way to go. But if you guys don't mind spending $70 to get a recon one that maybe is legal some places you know the big one's not legal it's just push you pushing your luck carrying it or maybe you just you're in dress pants and don't want to carry something as big as the recon one full size so there you guys go that's the recon one mini we'll see you next time have a great day bye